What's up, yokes? It's your boy, Mikael. So, I've been on a hiatus. I've been very preoccupied with my creative pursuits, which has really taken a lot of my energy and my time and my attention. But now I'm here, I'm back. So, the topic is going to be freestyle. It's going to be a freestyle reading, whether it's going to pertain to love, finances, your spiritual development, your emotional and psychological development. It's just going to be a grab bag, okay? So we're, we're going to title this reading, um, What's Up? What's Up? Or no, What's the Tea? What's the Tea on Me? Okay? This reading is all about me. Or me being you. <laughs> okay? So, um, timestamps will be in the comments and in the description box as per usual. And, um, oh, please, thank you for liking, subscribing, and sharing as well. Really appreciate that. And let's get on with it. See ya. Bunnies, welcome back. And for those who are new, welcome. So, clearing the space with some rosemary. This is a candle wax reading, okay? And there's going to be two candles to choose from, all right? Let's do prayer first, okay? Let's pray on this bowl first, okay, buddies? Dear Divine Mother, dear Divine Father, and begotten, eternal magic child of the universe, to your holy trinity of sacred geometry, thank you for being the truth that became true. And thank you for blessing this reading with your sacred geometric structures, grids, and patterns. Okay? All right. Now, first candle, which I'm corresponding with Anubis, the canine, the, the, the canine, the dog canine deity, who is the protector of the underworld, is this burgundy candle, okay? That's candle number one. And second candle, I'm corresponding with Bast, which is the feline goddess protector. Um, and this is this orange candle, okay? That's candle number two. So the timestamps are going to be as per usual in the description box and in the comments. And thank you so much. Um, if you like these free readings, I really appreciate it. If you subscribe, um, like, and share, we really appreciate that, okay? And let's get on with your readings. A candle number one, the burgundy candle, corresponding with Anubis. Let's do your candle wax reading. Now let's fill the bowl with, this is um, moon water that I just made, this past full moon in Leo. And it is also blessed with some salt. Okay. Okay, I see a moon. I see three moons. Something's gonna happen in three moons. I see an eye. I see I see two eyes, three eyes. Okay, people have got their eye on you, perhaps on social media. Okay, I see a person with a really bright light around them. This could be when you're when you're guardian angels, but I'm being told it's a passed on loved one. This person is watching over you. Okay, I see two people kissing. Um, some of you might be getting involved in a new relationship. Have you just met somebody? If not... You're going to be meeting someone this year. 
perhaps in three moons, perhaps in three months. I see an angel. Okay, that confirms you guys definitely are being watched over by your angels. They're watching you. They've got their eye on you. They're, they're, they're guarding you. You're protected. That's what I'm being told. I see a Christmas tree. Okay, something significant may happen next Christmas. Perhaps you're going you're gonna to meet somebody or perhaps something is going to get more serious at Christmas time. Something to do with the relationship. I see a... I see an alien. <laughs> okay, some of you guys feel like you don't fit into your surroundings. Um, the people that you're around, perhaps your, your circle of friends, you're starting to feel, I'm being told, you're starting to feel indifferent. You're, 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 you've changed. You're, you don't identify with those around you as much anymore. You're, you're outgrowing them. I see a mouse. Okay. Um, I'm going to take that as there's somebody you can't trust. This person could be like, a, I'm going to take that as a rat. That's what I'm being explained to um, um, describe to you guys. Somebody that you ha- you can't trust. Be, um, use your intuition. That's what I'm being told to say. I see a dolphin. Okay, what I was saying about using your intuition, dolphins are known to be telepathic, and they, um, the way they, they communicate with these sonic clicks in deep water, right? Um, so you're, you're very, your psychic abilities, your intuition, listen to it. Uh, what I'm being told is that you have, you have psychic abilities. Um, you're very intuitive. Trust your intuition. Okay, I see I see two chicks, two like baby chicks. It looks like they just sprung out of the egg and they're looking at each other. Okay. What I'm being explained to describe to you guys is this is you and some other individual. Probably romantic, as like as, as I was explaining before, doesn't have to be. Could be, you know, friendship, even business associate, business alliance. But what I'm being told to explain is, it's something that's going to make you feel very young. This individual is going to bring out. It's going to their their energy is going to really revitalize you, and you both are going to have the same effect on each other. So I think for most of you, it's a romantic kind of um, connection. Uh, what I was talking about in three moons, perhaps in three months, you know, three moon cycles. And this person, and you, you both you both bring out the inner child in each other. So, you, you know, you feel like little chicks, you know, just, just fresh sprung little chicks that just hatch out of the egg. This person makes you feel new again. This person makes love and romance feel new again, whoever this individual is. I see a seal. Okay, that's, I'm relating that again with um, just with innocence, with um, freedom. You guys are going to come into a cycle, about to come in a cycle where you guys are going to feel revitalized again. I think you guys, what I'm being intuitively guided to explain, you guys are going to be leaving circles behind. I see all these eyes everywhere. So there's, I think you have, you're in a friend circle, whether it's online or, I, I, I'm getting told it's very gossipy, very gossipy. Everyone's kind of got their eye on each other. Everyone's, you know, just, just gossipy. I, I, I sense you don't like it. You, you well, I'm being told, you're, you just, you're, you're, you've grown out of this kind of energy. You're not really interested in the gossip and what's happening. You want something substantial. You want to have fun. You want 
something to be innocent again. Everything in the world is so jaded right now and so adulterated, right? And you're 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 um, you're yearning for that happy sort of just freedom of, of childlike spirit. Okay. Now I see a five pointed star, and that's going to pertain to Earth. That's going to pertain to stability. This could be financial, a financial, a new financial phase. Perhaps some of you are going to get a new job, a new business endeavor. Okay, I'm going to have to put the candle out, you guys, because it's about to burn me, but I'm going to continue reading because I'm really seeing some interesting things in here. Okay. I might get a different perspective without the direct candlelight, you know, because the light, it's, it's shining differently. So I'm going to see different things. Okay. I'm trying to look for letters. If I see any letters. Not yet. I don't. I see a sunflower. Okay, sunflower is symbolic of the sun, obviously. Um, the, this this um, message about re, re, just vibrance, just renewal, rejuvenation, like just a new phase. It's going to be a very happy phase you're about to step into. I'm being told something you've been yearning for a long time. Yeah, I see a person. Okay, I see I see a person with their arms up in the air like yay, like they're saying yay, like they're going yay, like like someone's happy, like they're ha- like almost like you know when you're about to go down a roller coaster and you put your arms up and you're like yay, like like that. I see a person like that. So maybe that's what I'm saying. It's t- corresponding with that sunflower and what I was just saying. Like fun. I'm just getting fun. This is what's coming up for you guys, okay? There's fun, a fun phase. There's somebody that's going to be coming into your life that you're manifesting that's going to be um, going to bring out kind of like you guys are going to feel like kids again. Something about your guys' energy together, it might be kind of like a soulmate thing. It, you guys are going to feel like little kids again. You guys, are, you guys are going to have so much fun together. Oh, I should use my tough feather to kind of guide me. Let's see. I want to look for letters. And then we're going to move on to the tarot and get um, some clarification on all this and see what the tarot says. I see an E. Right here, I see an E. I see an A. I see an M. Okay. I see a Z. I see an S. Okay, perhaps those letters mean something to you. An A, a Z, an S. All right. Okay, now let's clarify this candle wax reading with some tarot, okay? Let's move this here. All right. First card we got is fighting. Okay, this would be the um, Knight of Swords in the traditional. We're using the Osho um, Zen deck, by the way. Fighting. Okay. What was I saying um, about there's kind of a, uh, there's a, you're a circle of gossip. A lot of, I'm getting, there's a lot of mental games, head games. You look here, you see, like in the back, if you see, there's these two images, spirits, kind of fighting. And it's all, 
it's all behind, it's all in subtext. It's not like confront, confrontational in your face. It's like that kind of real bitchy type of shiz, you know what I'm saying? Like that kind of like, it's like underhanded, like insults, you know, in disguise as compliments. Shiz like that, that's why it's kind of like, just in the background, you see what I'm saying? The fighting is in the background, it's all happening. Um, it's not being spoken, you know, it's all in subtext. I, I sense a lot of bitchiness, okay? And that's relating to what we were saying when there's all these eyes and there's all this gossip is what I was tuning into. You guys are over it. Okay. Next card is tuning it, turning in. Wow. This would be the four of cups. Look at, what was I saying, you guys? The, like, look at, look at her. Okay, she's all serene. Now look at the background. Look at all those faces. What was I saying, dude? Um... Or, or um, do this. <laughs> Sorry. Um, see, this is perfect, yo. This is perfect. This is describing exactly what I was saying. See, she's all tuned in. She's turning inward. That's what you guys are doing. You guys are over your external world, the people that surround you, I'm sensing. You guys are really getting over it. Look at her. She's just going inward. And there's all these faces behind. Like This is like social media. Like, ugh, like Facebook. Ugh, ugh, you know, like all that. Just all that distortion and just you know politics and and ugh, i hate that 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 energy and you guys do too <laughs> you guys are over it all right so it's definitely it's definitely clarifying the the candle watch reading definitely fits oh Okay, um, I have three that, that um, flipped over, so I'm going to take them all. Whoa! Okay, check it out, yo. What was I saying? I saw a dolphin. Remember I saw a dolphin? Look! Look! You can't make this shit up. I always say that, and I, I think I'm going to always be saying that. Okay, this is the card of harmony. This is the Ten of Cups. This is the Ten of Cups in the traditional. Okay, and it's got the two dolphins. What were they saying? There's somebody you're going to meet, yo. Um, sorry, I'm getting all excited. I, I get like this sometimes. There's somebody you're going to meet. And look at these dolphins. They're just like swimming, like having fun. You know what song just came to my head? It's by Sid Barrett. Um, it's called Terrapin. And in the lyrics it says, Because we're the fishes and all we do Move about is all we do well, Oh, baby, my head's on end about you I don't know. You listen to that song. It's by Sid Barrett. He was one of the original members of Pink Floyd. And it's a song called Terrapin. It's spelled, it's spelled T-E-R-R-A-P-I-N. Terrapin. It's a brilliant song. All right. Yes. Wow. This is so perfect, you guys. See, it's just crazy. Now, here's uh, this card is Morality. And this one is... Suit of air is this? This is the this is the um this is the the Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords in the traditional. Okay, morality. Um, what was I saying about intuition? Okay, the Queen of Swords. That's like the Aquarian Queen. It's the air sign Queen. Could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. But she's that Queen who will, who will slice your head off. She sees right through everything. Intuition. She's the psychic Queen. Okay. You guys are psychic, and you guys are, you guys know, like, look at, like, look at her in this, out. there's all that, all these gossipy, evil, you know, that's like th Facebook, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like all the gossiping faces, all the, all the, you know, all the, the virtue signaling and all this, you know, you know, that whole realm. And look at her, she's just using her intuition, and she's going inward. That's you guys. You guys, and look at, oh my god, look at, what did I just notice? See her hands? Now look at the hands on morality. See that? Just the same energy. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm saying? The same energy, yo. You guys are going, you guys are turning more, um, you guys are, are, are um, your spiritual development is really, it's, it's really taking its course, right? And look at here. Then we got the moment to moment. This is the, the full card. Yeah, this is the full card in the, in the traditional. Look at that. I love this card. Look at that. This card is amazing.
Yeah, you guys are just living. You guys are ready to live moment to moment. You guys are about to get into a phase where you're not in your head anymore, where you're not caught up in the the head, the heads of society, the the collective head of society, all that bullshit. Um, you know, the stuff online, all the just all of that, the the the, ugh, the corporate media. You know that whole disgusting CNN realm kind of, you know what I'm saying? You guys are just, you guys are ready to just disconnect from all that, from the world, from the people around you. And you guys are ready to live moment to moment. And then you got this, this 10 of cups or um, harmony card with the two dolphins there. You're manifesting someone like you. You're manifesting. Someone's going to be coming in, swimming into your life. It's going to be the, like you. You guys just want to just swim and have fun and just be free and just be like this, like this dude. Look at him. Look at this G. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Or heavens yeah. All right. Let's get another card. Whoa, whoa. Oh my God, it fell in the water. What the fuck? Damn, y'all. <laughs> oh my god oh my god well you know what this is meant to be you guys this was meant to be for you guys this is important okay because look at this what was i saying earlier about your psychic abilities look at this card it's receptivity okay this is the queen of cups in the traditional look at this card yo look at that oh it's so amazing just look at the art Look at, just feel it. I want you guys to feel it. Because this is important. I'm being told it's important for you guys. You guys need this. Look at, contemplate on that art. Look at the DNA strands. Look at the spirit of this lotus flower. Look at the arm. Oh my God. What was I saying earlier? What did I see? What did I see? Oh my God, you guys. This is crazy. What did I see in the bowl? I saw someone with their two arms going up like they were about to go down a roller coaster going, yay. Look it. Look it. Oh my God. Look. You see? Do you see what I'm saying? Yo! Oh my gosh, you guys. And look at the lotus flower. That lotus flower with the DNA strands. Or a caduceus. It could also be caduceus. Wow, y'all. Oh my god, this reading is so good. This is totally confirming. Receptivity. You guys are ready to receive blessings. You guys are about to get blessings in your life. And you guys are receptive to it. You guys are over the bullshit. You're over... You know, just the social constructs of the day, the corporate media, the chatter. You guys are over it. And you guys just want to just uh, just like disconnect, disconnect and turn inward like this other card turning in. You guys want to disconnect, turn inward. And by doing that, you guys are going to manifest somebody into your life, someone new into your life that's going to that's going to mirror that. Just like this other dolphin, the two do- twin dolphins there, y'all. Okay, now let's get one last card. Oh, wow, you guys. Da, 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 the lovers. Okay, this reading is got, it's, this is a love reading. This got love written all over it. Okay, and then the other card that fell out is, this would be the two of, um, this would be the four of wands in the traditional, or no, the six of wands in the traditional. Is it six of wands? I get so confused with this deck. I, um, the point is, it's the lovers, okay? It's the lovers card. Or no, this is the, the actual lovers card that, that's in the traditional as well. Yeah, okay. All right. So, and then the other card that came out is the seven of pentacles in the traditional, and it's patience. Patience. See that? And what I'm intuitively be guided, being guided to explain is this is... And what was I talking about? The moon cycles? The moon cycles, yo. I saw three moons, three moon cycles. Um, you guys have been very patient, what I'm being told, with a lot of people. And also with this manifestation. I'm getting this vibe that you guys know. You guys already intuitively know that this individual... Or this connection is coming in. You guys know you're manifesting this. Is what I'm being intuitively guided to explain. That you guys know. Sorry, I keep on. 
Yeah, and look at her. Look at her. She's like, it's like the Empress. She's like pregnant. You guys are really fertile with creativity right now. Or are you going to be entering that phase? Okay. This has got abundance and this is a love reading. Big time. This has got love written all over it. All right. Okay. Candle number one, my bunnies. That was your reading. Okay. And thanks for liking and subscribing and sharing and all that good stuff. See ya. Hey, candle number two, those of you who chose the orange candle in correspondence with Bast, the feline deity, um, goddess, protection, okay, let's fill this bowl up. Now, this is water um, that I blessed with moon water. I poured moon water into it, that moon water that I made just this past full moon in Leo, and it's also got salt in it. So I kind of turned it into a brine by mixing sea salt into it. Okay. All right. Let's do this thing. Oh, shoot. Okay, the candle went out. Strange. Um, that's a sign that usually with candle, when candle goes out like that, um, it means there are heavy spirits around. Okay. Okay, I'm already seeing eyes. I see eyes, um... It can mean the evil eye. It can also just mean that a lot of people have their eye on you. Yeah, I see two eyes in particular. There's two people. I'm being told that these people, they don't like the way you shine. Hence why, the, that's what I'm being told right now. Hence why the candle, the, the flame went out when I first lit it. They don't like, they don't want you to shine. There's, so, there's somebody, there's two of them. They don't want to see you shine. Like they don't want to see you succeed. And it's all, pro it's all probably, they're probably very subversive about it. Okay, I see a ghost. Perhaps you've recently been ghosted. I literally see it's like a ghost, like um, like a funny ghost. You know, like in a cartoon with kind of like a pointed tip at the head and it loops over. I see a stroll. I see someone pushing a stroller. Um, are some of you pr are some of you preg pregno? Pregnant? I see an angel. I see a garden angel. There's a garden angel watching over you. Okay, this angel is funny too. Whoever this guardian angel that you have is, it's a funny angel. Uh, they're, they're I'm getting their energy because the angel is holding a ball on top of his head. You guys have a fun. You guys have like a funny guardian. You guys have a funny guardian angel watching over you. I see two, I see two caterpillars kissing. <laughs> I see, I literally see two caterpillars. They're cute. It looks like a cartoon. Like they go like this, like one's, one's taller than the other. Okay. This is what I'm being told. Caterpillars turn into butterflies, right? But before they're a caterpillar, they crawl around. There's somebody that you're going to meet and Obviously, you two are going to be like caterpillars. You two are going to meet, or unless you guys already know each other, you guys are, are going to meet just before you go into, like, your, have a, a 
have a have, just before you have a transformation and you become butterflies. Perhaps you guys will become butterflies together. That's why there's two caterpillars here. This kind of pertains to somebody meeting somebody during your darker times or during times when you are discovering yourself still. And the person is, is going on that journey with you R- rather than vice versa where you, you have to like find the love in yourself first and then find somebody. It's going to be kind of like opposite with this person. You both are going to help each other find what I'm being told. You both are, you are going to help each other. You, you guys are going to go into Christmas mode together and, and become butterflies. Okay. Looking for letters. Okay, I see the letter C. That might, um, perhaps that means something to you. I also see an H. Now, just so you guys would know, the reason why I'm using this, this reflective bowl, I'm, I'm not just you know, reading the candle wax on top floating above, I'm also reading the reflection. So it all, they, all these images start forming, start, it starts triggering my third eye and I start seeing stuff. Okay, I see a bird flying. Um, I'm being told flying south, perhaps some of you guys are from the south or perhaps you guys are thinking about moving to the south. I'm being told Austin for some of you, Dallas, Tennessee for some of you. I see a baby. I see a baby. I see two babies. Wow. Okay. I see two babies. I don't know. Some of you are prego. Um, or this is what I'm being told. It's the. It's this other person. There's another person. the The first reading. You guys might want to watch that one too. The first Candlebox reading had this whole love thing coming going in, and this one is 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 going in that direction too. Um. This other person, you guys are going to be kind of like babies together, kind of like um, just about to come into a spiritual awakening together. I'm talking about like a deep one, like to where you're going to get your wings. Yep, because now I see an angel, and this angel is watching over you. This angel has okay. This angel has its wings, and he this angel has his hands in prayer like this, and it's like watching over the two little babies that I see right here. I see the angel right here. And then the two babies right here, like watching over you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay. Whatever this connection is, it's a divine connection. It's a divinely ordered connection. It, it could be a soulmate. And for very few of you, it could even be twin flame. Um, take that as it may. Okay. That angel, now that, it's, now that it's twisting this way and the wax is spreading differently, it's turning into the sphinx. It's turned into the sphinx, yo. Okay. And the Sphinx is means knowing the the it means riddles solving the riddle, that means solving the riddle of of the universe of magic, um, secret knowledge you know, uh, both emerald tablets. I'm being told some of you guys can get into are going to get get into hermetic studies. Some of you are interested in hermetic studies. So some of you might be getting into hermetic studies. You might be reading the Emerald Tablets of Thoth and learning the, the riddles of the Sphinx. You, some of you guys are going to be, um, some of you are going to be really getting into the occult and into um, the esoteric um, texts. Good for you. I highly, highly recommend it. I see another angel. Okay, there's a lot of angels in this reading. There's been like three so far. You got three guardian angels that are totally watching over you. Okay, I see a seal on a ball. Like, you know, like those seals rolling on the ball, like at the circus. Okay, <laughs> that's weird. I saw a seal in, in, um, in bowl number one, too, candle number one, too. There was a seal, but not on a ball. This one's on a ball, and it looks funny. He's funny, like... um. It's cute. I like it. It's a it's a it's a cool vibe. There's a um, 
What does it represent? Seals are fun. They, they represent kind of carefree, having fun, playing on a ball. You guys are going to... Um, you guys are coming into a, a version of yourself that's going to just be really having fun. I see a fairy. I see a fairy. Okay? See, that's pertaining to the fun vibe again. The fairies are just kind of, you know carefree they're mischievous perhaps you get a feeling a little mischievous not nothing serious i see another bird yep and the bird this bird it's kind of like a robin it's feeding on a flower it's pollination okay so that this is speaking of pollination also speaking of um fertility apply that as it fits into your life doesn't have to be literally fertility like um it doesn't even necessarily have to be like having a physical baby, for, you know, like if it could be giving birth to ideas, cre um, uh, creative endeavors, you know, corporations, organizations, whatever, projects. I see two hearts. Okay, you guys, I had to put the candle out. It was about to burn my finger. So I'm going to continue the reading. I see, I saw two hearts and now, um, I see one big heart. Look for letters. I see an F. I see a D. I still see that bird that's feeding on a flower. So that, that the whole pollination thing keeps on coming to mind. I think maybe if some of you maybe if some of you um, have a platform of some sort, it's going to start cross pollinating with other platforms. It, it's it might things might pick up. I'm sensing for some of you, or it could actually mean you know it could actually pertain to sexual sexuality. This person, whoever this person is, um, there's going to be a lot of sex. <laughs> okay. Um, What else do I see? I see a hand mirror, like a hand mirror. So um, some of you are really paying attention to your skincare regime. Um, really, um, yeah, really putting a lot of attention and detail into your skincare regime. Perhaps cause your cosmetics. Uh, if you're male and um, same thing, you're probably taking care of your beard, you're getting your beard trim, just taking care of your face is what I'm being told. You're, you're really going to start paying attention to your face, maybe wearing some, starting to use eye, under eye cream, you know, just becoming more um, intentional about your facial skincare. That's what I'm being told. And if you're not, you're about to, and you should, <laughs> Okay. Okay, I see a honeycomb. What was I talking about pollinating with the little hummingbird in, in the in the um, flower? And now I see a honeycomb pollinating honey. Um, yeah, there's a and I'm gonna associate that also with you know honey is sweet. It's very, it's got a very like kind of sensual sort of meaning. It's kind of like liquid sun, you know. It's very mystical properties, right? It's magic. It's it's like the fairy magic, right? But basically, honey is sweet. And the, the life of milk and honey. You guys are about to enter a phase that's going to be very, a very sweet phase, very sweet connection. And here again, I'm seeing kind of like... Now, it's not exactly a caterpillar, but it looks more like a Pokemon <laughs> with another Pokemon. And they have their, they have like their two faces right here. They have like their two faces up against each other's cheeks like this. Like they're all, like, they're all, uh, like, <laughs> like they're like together. They're like really like lovey dovey, like two, like two love Pokemons. <laughs> like two little Pokemons fell in love. Oh my God. Okay. This, whatever this is that's coming into your life, this connection, it's going to be really cute. You guys are going to be very cute, like, like, just like squishing, like a very, it's going to be a very squishy connection. <laughs> if that makes sense, yo. You know what I mean? Like, you just want to squish up on each other, just like, 
eat cookies and watch anime together, that kind of shit, you know, just, just, just squishy, the squishiness, it's like those, those comfy squishy vibes, okay? Anything else? Anything else? Show me. I see a B. I see uh, the letter B. I see the letter B. Okay, I'm being told that's it with this. Okay, now we're gonna um, we're gonna do some tarot in correspondence with the with the candle wax reading to clarify. Okay. Okay, now let's clarify with this tarot. We're using the Osho Zen tarot deck, okay? Okay. Well, <laughs> that one want to pop out. There's two of them. That was quick. Okay. Interesting. Um, first card we got is experiencing. This would pertain to, this would be the three of wands in the traditional tarot. And this is basically, um, you've been waiting for a, a, you've been waiting to start, you've been sort of, you've been feeling, I think, like what what I, what I was referring to in that caterpillar mode, you've been feeling like you haven't been living, like you know, like you want to you want to come out of the cocoon, you want to experience things, um, you you're ready to step out. That's what I'm being explained. That's what I'm being told to explain. Okay, you're ready to start experiencing life again, externally, like you know, outside of your own comfort zone outside of your own home, you want to go outside, you want to feel the seasons, you want to, you want to just experience again. You're ready to do that again. And why? Because we have the Ten of Wands, which is suppression. It'll be the Ten of Wands in the traditional. In this, car, in this deck, the Osho Zen, this is the suppression card. What was I saying? You've been feeling suppressed. You're coming out of a phase of the suppression. Um, it's a very intriguing image artwork on this I wish you guys could I hope you guys can see it it's really abstract and it's really intriguing but it, it really you, you just feel the energy of it suppression and this one you can feel the energy of this one too and they kind of have a similar color color palette but um, you see this individual this cloaked individual just feeling, you know, it's it's autumn. Just sort of immersing oneself in the seasons, you know, getting out, feeling feeling the wind in your hair again, feeling the breeze on your face again, you know, touching touching the trees, just experiencing. You guys want to experience again and come out of this caterpillar phase. Celebration, yes. See, you guys want, you guys are ready to come out and start partying again. Like, look at these these three homegirls. They're partying, right? They're getting their they're getting their club on, you know. <laughs> so um, they're out the club, you know, having a good time, have some drinks. Yeah, you guys are ready to start, and they're dancing in the rain. Okay, you guys are ready to get out, get out, you know, hit the town and and, and have some fun, and and you know, start partying again. Start getting back into you know getting back into your into yourself again into into you know socializing and just having fun. Perhaps that's when you're going to meet this your other caterpillar <laughs> or your other your your love Pokemon, <laughs> your twin Pokemon. <laughs> okay. Um. No. Whoa. That blew right out. 
rebirth. What was I saying about, okay, this is totally corresponding with the candle wax. Um, rebirth. I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory, right? Uh, and, and this would be, and you know what's interesting about this? This would be the Ten of Swords in the, tr- in the traditional tarot deck, which is a very, um, in the traditional, it's a, it's a very kind of, it's, it's dark because it's, it's an individual, two, Ten Swords stabbed in his back, bleeding out, but it means the death of one of a cycle, of, of, a, of a dark cycle and the rebirth of a new one. And, thus, and in this, the way they um, depict it in this deck, the Osho Zen deck, is quite different. You see there's this individual playing a flute and there's this riding on back of a lion, sort of a spirit. Because you can see it's like a kind of an ephemeral looking or sort of a specter looking kind of individual. And, the, and there's a camel <laughs> on the bottom. Oh, this is really interesting. I've never really... I need to like, like spend a lot of time with these cards. I, I've had them for a long time, but I've never really deeply looked, noticed that. I've never noticed this camel here before. I need to use them more often. I like this. Rebirth, man. Um, what was I saying about kind of Caterpillar about to, you know, tra- go through a transformation? To become a butterfly. Yeah, you guys are about to. Um, you guys are about to enter a new phase. It's very similar to the, to the um, the first candle. You guys might want to watch that one too. It's really similar. Okay, this one wanted to come out. Oh, there's two. Okay, existence and the burden. Um. This is, um, existence would be the, um, what card is it in the, in the, in the traditional? I think it's the magic of the magician. No, 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 no. Well, I can't remember what, what card this would be in the, in the traditional. So, but... It's existence. And if you see here, this individual is sitting in a lily pad looking up at the stars and just existing, just really being, feeling part of, you know, of the cosmos, being connected, right? Um, disconnecting from, from bullshit and just coming out, um, being free, this looks like a very, this individual on that lily pad is just naked to the night. Um, and there's a shooting star, a wish coming true, making a wish, existing, you know, in the moment. You guys are about to just come to have peace. Um, and then another card we get is burden, which is you guys are coming out of that. That's what's, That's why these two cards came out together. See, you're letting go of the burdens because you want to just exist, just free. You guys want to wish upon a star. You guys want to be out in, in the starry night, you know, and just just feel the 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 the, the moonbeams on 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 your skin. You know, you just want to. You want magic, and this burden right here. You want to let go of this burden. I mean, look at this dude. This dude, he's got he's got this 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 batch on his back telling him what to do with the with the with the freaking um clucking hen on her head. You know what I'm saying? Like the bitch is on his back telling him where to go. So if maybe some of you are coming out of a suppressive or you had come out of a suppressive relationship um with a woman or whether you're lesbian, maybe you're a hetero male, or if you're a a female, maybe it was a suppressive female in your life maybe it could have been a friend or a mother a roommate some sort of suppressive female energy that you guys are just you guys are over it you guys just want want to be free and just want to exist in peace and that's what you guys are going to do my bunnies okay i can't help but see the card at the bottom of the deck and it's no thingness this is fantastic this means the quantum field, okay? This means you guys are ready to start manifesting shivs in your life. You guys are ready to let go of it all. And you guys are ready to just just enter the void, the, the quantum field, where 
of all possibilities. No thingness means there's nothing, there's nothing in your way that you're, that, that you're going to perceive as being in your way. You're a blank slate. You are ready for, to, to start manifesting, to start creating your own reality, a new reality. Yeah, I had to like rearrange the cards because they were kind of all jumbled up. But, um, oh, sorry about that. I'm not used to like having the bowl and doing the cards. Okay, another card. Whoa, okay. Those two wanted to come out. Well, oh my God, this is so perfect, you guys. Um, look at what the first card is. Possibilities. What was I talking about? No thingness. The quantum field, where anything is possible. You can manifest anything. You're about to enter. The, you're about to open up the void. You know, you're about to, um, or the, not the void. Sorry, the vortex. The vortex, where you know the quantum field, man. About to start manifesting some shiz, yo. Possibilities. You guys are coming into a phase where you you are you can feel um, you can feel possible. You you you're you um, you're hopeful. You are um, optimistic. You're starting to feel optimistic. You're getting your strength back. You're starting to have a sense of vitality and a sense of adventure, and you are seeing possibilities rather than you know suppression or burden. You're you're letting go of that, all that. And look at here. This is conditioning. And what do we see here? This is really interesting. You see there's a lion and the lion is, is lying with a sheep. It's the biblical, um, that biblical parable about the, the, peace, the, um, the peaceable kingdom where the lion walks with the sheep in peace. Um, and you're you're letting go of the conditioning well because like what uh, lions are conditioned to what eat sheep right because of this carnal knowledge or this carnal kind of dement um this carnal matrix sort of structure system that we're in this 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 carnal natural order that we're in we're it's all conditioned carnality is conditions a conditioning of this order but this lion is not choosing that this lion is choosing to stay to be in peace and 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 act against the conditioning okay and that's what you guys are choosing to you guys are letting go of the burdens and letting go of the conditioning that that has bound you and here is awareness why are you guys doing that look at this image this is a very very um it's a very provocative image. It's uh, not provocative. It's a very profound image. Now, there's this woman inside. See, there's this, this shadow that's kind of wanting out. It wants out. It wants to get out. And then look at this woman. There's a blue flame with blue fire. She's emerging. Or it doesn't have to be a woman. It looks like it could be any, either or. It's a very androgynous looking face. But, um... It, a rebirth. What were we saying about sort of like a, a new birth, a rebirth is happening with you guys. You guys are coming, letting go of this, the shadow. You guys, this is dark night of the soul. Maybe you guys are coming out of a dark night of the soul. You guys are burning through with the blue flame, that the blue flame of healing, right? Okay, let's get um, two more cards. Okay, this one wanted to come out. Morality. Wow. Um, candle number one got the same card too. Morality. This would be the Queen of Swords in the traditional. Um, this is uh, empower, being empowered and being very mentally, um, mentally astute, just very um, discernful. Um, and very psychic. Okay, you guys. You guys are. You guys' intuition is on point. Um. I'm feeling there was some suppression in your life and you guys are very shrewd and you guys know how to cut your way out of it. Because the Queen of Swords, the traditional, she doesn't take shiz from anybody, okay? She's like the warrior queen, okay? She's she's a fighter. She will cut right through the bullshiz. And that's what you guys are going to do. You guys, you guys I, I'm sensing you guys just, um, 
you can just see through the, the your suppressors, whoever they may be. Perhaps it's not even a person. Perhaps it's even a state of your own mind, a conditioning that's in your own mind, you know? A version of yourself that you're just over. You're over with it. You don't want to be that, that, that version of yourself anymore. You're done. You're done. That's what I'm sensing. Okay, let's last card. And let's um, consummate the reading. Oh, my God. Dude, this happened. Oh, my God, you guys. This happened in the... the this happened with the first candle. The the one card flew into the water. This is a, and I think it was the last card to you. Yo, that is crazy. I'm just tripping out right now. Look at and look what card it is. It fell in the water. Look at going with the flow, yo. That's what's going on here. What we re- oh, let me get this other card. See what I'm saying? Look at the energy. It's a, this very blue kind of very um just tranquil, peaceful, just very like soothing energy, man. In this reading, it's magical. And look at it's just ex- existence, just being going with the flow, just just being you know aligning with the cosmos, man. Just going with the flow. Look at this. Just no more struggle, no more burden, burdensome people uh, to the devil with burdensome people, right? To the devil with all that. Um, and we're living in a time right now where it's it's all around us. You just go on social media, like, ugh, all the, and the corporate media, the corporate news, like, all the, the, the whole evil CNN and all, it just, ew, it's just so much, there's so much just corruption and just, it's just, just madness going on. And we want to disconnect from that, right? We want to go with the flow of our own spiritual journey and to the devil with the world and, and, and the world order and this, this, this matrix, the social matrix <laughs> that, that everyone's, that they're trying to trap everyone in, okay? And they're trying to brainwash everyone into. So, um, and you guys, that's what's happening, man. And uh, I kid you not, the same thing, I'm just tripping out right now still, y'all, about the, the card flying in the water like that. It's just, whoa. And it was the last card in, in the first reading, too. It was the last card that did that, I believe. Yes, I think it was. Oh, my God. That's so crazy. Okay, this is, means to me that um, the Almighty Spirit really wanted to make the... To, this is the most important message of all. It's going with the flow. You're taken care of. Remember what we were saying? that I saw a lot of garden angels up in your candle reading. So you guys are being watched over and being guided, okay? And have faith in that, okay? And, and probably just bless your ancestors and bless your angels. Just give them a blessing. Maybe, you know, just when you go to bed or just give them, put out a little a little box of chocolates for them. Just something, you know what I mean? Just something to, to spiritually represent your your appreciation for their for their support because you're being supported by some celestial forces man all right candle number two that was your reading um if you like this free reading uh they, i really appreciate it if you could uh, like comment and subscribe and share really appreciate that okay and you guys have a wonderful wonderful day Mwah.